In this video, I want to discuss the benefits of using carnitine, more so in injectable form. I just refuse to promote this company, so I'm gonna use it backwards. The reason we would choose to use injectable forms of anything is because the bioavailability goes up significantly. Increased bioavailability just means the amount you can absorb is better. So if we're using uh, L-carnitine, this is 500 milligrams per milliliter. I tend to use 750 milligrams per day. If you're using oral form, you're looking at five to 10 grams to attempt to get the same benefits you would get from this injectable form because it's not as bioavailable, especially without the presence of insulin. It's why some of the supplements used to have carnitine with a lot of carbohydrates to spike insulin and help the absorption, but it still doesn't compare to the injectable form. I really realized this lately when I reintroduced it after not having it for a while because this particular brand, which I'm going to swap it out for something else in the near future when the new one is produced, I saw these benefits firsthand a lot more clearly lately when this brand had run out of L-carnitine and I wasn't able to get any for a few weeks. So then it cleared my system and when I put it back in, I felt on attack mode that day. The first day I put it in, significant increase in, in, in every aspect. And I went from feeling a little bit low in, in sort of the depths of a diet into attack mode. And I, I went and trained and did spin at the night time. Energy was through the roof, mental performance was through the roof through the day whilst I was working and then whilst I was training. And generally we see with carnitine, increasing in energy metabolism, usually seeing fatty acid being transported better to be burnt off as fuel. So that's why we see a better performance, especially on a diet, in things like fasted cardio in the mornings, which I really did see when I put this back in. So it's in first thing in the morning, before the cardio, and then through the entire day. A, a nootropic effect, which is enhanced cognitive function, which was definitely seen that day and then I've got used to it now and I've just generally got an increase across every single day. One thing that is often referred to but not stated when you generally look into it is an increase in androgen receptor sensitivity. How true that is, I don't know because it's very hard to actually prove that. But if that would be the case, the other things we're gonna be taking in bodybuilding would work better because the receptors that they're gonna stimulate are gonna be more sensitive. So the same dose theoretically would do more. Along with the increase in energy metabolism and nootropic effects, we see enhanced mood, enhanced fat loss, enhanced energy, increased performance in the gym, and generally sense of well-being being higher, which allow us to just do the whole process better. Because generally when we're on a diet, we feel a little bit low. And by increasing all those aspects, we're gonna start feeling better, perform better, burn energy better, and generally feel like we are able to do more. Through my prep last year, I didn't go hypo once. My blood sugar never dropped. Normally, when I'm in those final stages, I go hypo every single day when I'm doing cardio. And it's awful. Because the only thing you can do is lie on the floor and wait for it to come back up. You've not taken exogenous insulin. So your blood sugar will come back up at some stage. Get up. Come on. But it's going to be a while lying on the floor. And I do credit most of that to l -carnity. I can't say if that's the only thing that impacted it because there were multiple things that added into last prep that weren't into previous ones, like semaglutide, like the, some of the peptides that I will be talking about in some of the other videos. But most of those wouldn't play a massive role in increasing blood sugar. If anything, semaglutide is going to drop it down. So I do feel that carnitine was probably the thing that impacted that the most. I would say L-carnitine is a great addition to anyone's program and you will be really happy with the results you're going to get from adding it in. Definitely give it a go and reap all these benefits. Raw Farm is going to be coming out with a new one very soon. When it comes out, I will make a video about it and you guys can get your hands on it because it will hopefully be one that you can trust. I'm going to be one of the first people to try it. If it hurts, <laughs> I'll be the one that deals with that. It does not feel good. It hurts. Hopefully you found this video useful. Please do give it a like. Make sure you comment and send it to someone who may need it. As for now, I will see you on the next one.